you're not good enough at ultrasound, that's not an excuse to punish your patients with radiation. Get out there, ultrasounds, hearts, lungs, my VCs, let us know how you feel about it. He you know, got his wrist pain by, by doing over aggressive high fives to his buddies. <laughs> All right, so if that hernia lecture was a bonus to the Vicky Nope interview, then this is going to be a bonus, bonus case. This is a case that I had about two weeks after we recorded the hernia lecture, and it was a really cool case. I just had to tell you about it. So unfortunately, Mike is pretty hard to get a hold of last minute. He's really important. Uh, so instead, I got the next best thing, which was Arnold Schwarzenegger to come on. Uh, so Arnold, I um, haven't seen you in a while. Howdy, stranger. Yeah, it's been a long time. Are you been doing okay? How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, like I said, we c I couldn't get a hold of Mike. Uh, you know Mike. We're, we're all, uh, for those of you who don't know, Arnold and Mike and I are really great friends. Uh, and while I've got you here, uh, I thought it would be fun to start off uh, telling some funny stories about Mike. Uh, just kind of some crazy things that have happened to the three of us. So why don't you go first? I don't play that game. Wow. Arnold, you know, you, you, you are the consummate professional. You never... Uh, cease to impress me. I guess you just want to get straight into the case then, don't you? Yeah. All right, well, let's do it. Let's go straight into the case. So this is the patient. This is an 87-year-old lady. This is a picture of her hernia she had, which we'll talk about more later. But she came in with really her only complaint was weakness. Her son said that she had been really weak. He thought she was just dehydrated because he said she had been vomiting over the last week a little bit and she's just not eating much and just feels really weak. He thought she just probably needed a couple liters of fluid and then could go home. So I did a physical exam on her, and I have a horrible confession to make. This hernia that you see here, which is kind of obvious, I actually initially missed this. I, I, uh, I kind of breezed right over this. She wasn't tender at all in her groin. Um, her stomach really wasn't tender. It really was just kind of weakness, and that's about it. I felt really bad for missing this, although we did find it later, thanks to the ultrasound. But um, I should have found this on physical exam. Uh, I mean, I guess I shouldn't be so hard on myself. I guess everybody makes mistakes. Arnold, I know you've probably made some mistakes in your life, right? Don't be ridiculous. Okay, well, big shot. Won't you tell me your secret? How, how come you never make mistakes? I'm smart, unlike someone we know. All right, well, I guess I should feel really bad for missing this. But anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, at that point, I decided to do a quick ultrasound of her stomach. She'd been vomiting. That's really all I had to go on, and she was weak. So I was going to probably do a quick echo and look at her, her stomach. So I looked at her stomach, and this is what I saw. This is pretty cool. This is a obvious small bowel obstruction. You see these big dilated loops of bowel with the peristalsis going through them. If anybody's read the chapter in uh, Emergency Ultrasound Mom and here, this is definitely the pictures that they give her if you've done this ultrasound before. This is a classic small bowel obstruction. And here's another picture of the bowel. You can see the swishing back and forth, the big dilated loops. We'll play that again. Really cool picture. I want to ask you a bunch of questions. And I want to have them answered immediately. Okay, sure. What, 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 do you, what do you want to know, Arnold? What the hell were you thinking? Well, that's a good question. Uh, I mean, at this point, I didn't know exactly what was going on. I knew she had a small bowel obstruction. And that was kind of enough for me. I, I kind of thought I was done. Um, she had a small bowel obstruction, obstruction great. Uh, and I really only found the hernia as I continued to scan around on her stomach, looking at these really cool big loops of bowel. And then I noticed what I hadn't noticed on physical exam, which was the hernia there. And so here it is. Here's the hernia. After I scanned around on her a little more, moved down to her, to her right lower quadrant, I found this little bulge on this hernia. And you know, Arnold, I'm sure I would have found this even if I hadn't ultrasounded. Yeah, okay. You're probably right. This is probably another case of ultrasound saving uh, an incompetent physician. But luckily for me, I knew how to ultrasound, and it did save me. So I found this hernia, and it was hard as a rock. So I decided to put the ultrasound on it and take a look at it and see if I could use that cool new method of finding the defect and pushing it in back through the defect. So I took the probe, the linear probe, and I put it on the hernia, and I wanted to see if I could maybe find that defect in the peritoneal wall like that study paper talked about. And I did. It was awesome. You can see it right here in this video. There's the peritoneal defect, and here's the bowel. There was no peristalsis whatsoever. So it was awesome. I was like, maybe I can just push this right back into that defect. But then I was thought, wait a second, maybe I shouldn't do that. Why not? Well, uh, if I thought, I mean, I told you earlier that this was 
hard as rock and so if it was I don't know how long this has been there but this could be dead bowel not just incarcerated hernia so I didn't want to send her into immediate septic shock by pushing this back in so I decided to use a trick that Mike taught us if you remember and I threw some color flow on it so of course Arnold at that point the surgeon wanted a CT scan um, and I got the CT scan I mean how would you have responded in this situation I know um, you probably deal with this a lot. What would you have said? Just do what I tell you. Okay. Well, what if they had said, um, no, they need a CT scan, then what would you have said? Do it now. All right, and then if they had said, or what? I hope you leave enough room for my fist because I'm going to ram it into your stomach. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds like uh, something that I may use in the future. Do you care if I borrow that phrase? No. No, you don't care, or, or no, I can't use it can I use it yes okay great thanks oh and Arnold this is kind of crazy before we end I just want to show you this this is actually this lady's aorta it's a really pretty awesome picture of a six and a half by a five and a half centimeter aorta come on don't bore no really this was actually her aorta um, and this is the one of the first findings and I was worried initially that this was the cause of her weakness and that was, that was also one of the reasons why it was fine with me to get the CT scan um, because I kind of wanted to see if there's any evidence of this leaking also alright well I guess that about does it Arnold uh, thanks so much for coming on I, I, we haven't seen each other in forever I mean look at this picture of us at a wedding I mean this, what, what was this 2007 it was a long time ago do, do you have anything else to say before uh, we close it up I have only one more question okay Go ahead. Whatever. Who the hell are you? Arnold, come on. First off, I've known you for years, and secondly, this is a family program. Don't use that kind of language. I don't appreciate it. So me, Alright, that's it. We're done. I'm gonna hang up. You're gonna call tomorrow. You're gonna be sorry. You're gonna apologize. And I'll be cool with it. It'll be okay. But I'm not gonna tolerate that language anymore. Jeez, that guy. He's really a nice guy. He just... I don't know, his temper or something. I don't know what it is. He just goes off for no reason. Anyway, thank you guys so much for listening. I hope that was helpful. Uh, if it was, let me know. If you wanna, if you do want us to interview Arnold more, let me know. If you have any other famous actors or actresses you'd like us to get on the show, give us a call. We pretty much know everybody, so it's not a problem at all. So just let us know. Send us an email, and we'll interview uh, the famous person of your choice and uh, get them to teach us some ultrasound. Thanks a lot. If you're not good enough at ultrasound, that's not an excuse to punish your patients with radiation. Get out there. Ultrasound's parts, lungs, my VCs. Let us know how you feel about it.